Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some horrible, horrible news when it comes to GameStop over here, where every now and then we have a retailer that, you know, sometimes makes a small mistake or small, kind of little mishap. A good example is as of yesterday, Old Navy actually had a 20% off coupon that for some other reason turned into $20 off for the coupon itself for their internal systems. Now, every now and then there's like little small goofs and those things happen, and I think most people are okay with it. But as of right now, GameStop this past day and these past few hours kind of almost somewhat breaking news because it's been floating around. I think that right now the website app is down. I think the website itself has been having issues from a lot of like folks reporting that you basically can't even go and interact with the website or check out. Some folks are saying it's okay and some of the issues are fixed, but there's a lot of backlog, a lot of big issues because it seems like GameStop somehow messed up their entire online website where basically people were able to go and access other folks' personal information, their payment processors, their literal credit card information, and people were actually able then to go and just like basically siphon it up. There's a huge glitch, huge break, and this is a huge, huge, awful issue for gamers worldwide. I mean, not worldwide, because GameStop's not only in a few different countries, but this is really bad news. Now, I hate whenever we see this stuff, because for me, I just want everyone's information, credit card information, everything saved, and I've even throughout the years always said, like, you know, you can buy stuff on GameStop. I think most people would say that it's not that big of a crazy, weird company, and the fact that it completely got flopped from this Black Friday deal and completely destroyed as of now, this is not... Good. Some people now are saying, this is like a big warning out here, we're going to talk about a little bit more, but a lot of folks are now even saying to take your credit card information off of GameStop if you buy anything in the past like year or so, make sure your account information is all like automatically saved and like changed up and you don't have saved passwords or even change your passwords. At the end of the day, GameStop really messed up. I was going to talk about this a little bit more in depth, but first, if you guys want to, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, both for all the gaming news, restock news, and all that, but as well, make sure you guys are sub for a PS5, Xbox Series X, or $500 giveaway, you get to pick and choose, and also use the Twitter and Twitch room down below for bonus entries. We also have a lot of Amazon sales going on down below for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and as well as the console signups and everything else too with Targets, and let's dive into this. So, let's go and show this off, and I'll give you guys some articles too, but basically, like, let's just show off this. Or this is probably one of the world's worst things out here, first and foremost, where this one tweet, and we've seen a lot more now. At this point, a lot more other people have actually confirmed this. A lot of other people have basically said this is like happening to them, and it's just falling apart. It's really not good. So as you guys can see over here from Erica Yasmin saying, WTF, every time I refresh my account, I now see other people's info and their orders and even addresses. Is this real and once again this has now been apparently now confirmed the systems are down the website got taken down but this was up for potentially like quite a few hours and a lot of people's information it's basically like if you basically bought anything in the past like six months let's go i'm not sure the exact specifics i'm sure we'll maybe see more information or maybe a statement from gamestop itself on this really bad situation but as you guys can even see from this one just looking at the actual tweet picture itself they have Prior order numbers. So you guys can see like the bat to my orders. Order number like 1100 million, whatever number that is, with more details with that. The order date to the order status. So also in progress too. You can also maybe edit payments and cancel orders. Apparently some folks are saying that they actually were able then to then cancel other people's orders if they were inside of this like system like if they somehow had someone else's information and payment came up they were actually able then to now cancel or even edit the payments themselves because apparently like i think more so the cancel is what people are able to go do so a lot of folks are then having issues with emails being sent out with them basically having their proper gamestop orders canceled or delayed you guys can see with this one you could also then see what people were buying now, thankfully, GameStop doesn't have anything like that strange or that sketchy, but it is crazy to see this because now, like, just in case you, just, you just, sometimes you don't want to know, like, what if someone randomly spent, this is kind of like a very far out there case, but what if someone spent like $50,000? Obviously, you're probably not going to do that at GameStop, but you never know, and they bought like a bunch of Funko Pops, maybe some TVs, consoles, and then now with that, you have the expected order date, you have the order status, and then you also then have the billing address. So that would probably be where, like, say, like you bought a TV, say you bought a GPU, say you bought a PlayStation 5. 
then you at least would know within the next two to three days that billing info might be receiving a very expensive package. Now, that's kind of a more of a rarity, and if you guys were affected by this GameStop issue, I wouldn't be that stressed about it, but when it comes to people online, people being weird, there is always that chance. Like, we never know exactly what, what crazy person may have found your information randomly. What if they found it was a girl? Like, you never know what people do on this day and age. Now, I don't want to fear monger too much, but that is like a valid critique of uh, concern. So basically, you guys can see as well, like the order summaries, what people bought, the shipping and handling, their tax, their totals, all that. And also then the big thing is the billing addresses, as you guys can see, because I don't believe this person is actually the same person. So you guys can kind of see other orders over here too as well. But they have this other order number. Once again, order numbers are not good to share. They have the order dates. You guys can see like on the 17th of November and they had it shipped. So once again, you get all this private information from other folks. Like this is all from refreshes. And you guys can see over here from Sifu, Vengeance Edition. They bought it for 25 bucks. They have the shipping handling and the billing addresses, the credit card numbers and everything all in between. And this has kind of just been going around with a lot of other folks. A lot of other people, people have been seeing, like there's been videos on there. People are calling on on Twitter. They're tagging and asking GameStop, what is going on? Why is this happening? Why is my credit card information? Why is my address? Why is all this stuff being showcased over here? And this is just awful. It's awful. Like some of the comments over here is like GameStop is falling apart. We have how do you get this glitch? They were just buying some games, but then the rewards and history was different every time. So people, as I mentioned, people were able to just refresh the page and they get someone else's credit card information, billing address and everything all tied in between the two. Some folks are also then apparently able to go and then basically get a headache from dealing the stuff, the stuff I would do, it sounds awful as well. People are saying, please get, like, people are basically tagging up GameStop, begging this, because it was, like, around 12 hours or so, and as well, we also seen that the websites were taken down, but... Besides all this actually going on, it kind of hit more of the mainstream and news, where a lot more folks are bringing this up too as well. Now, as we mentioned, some of the apps were taken offline and fully gone. Like, the website, I believe, was fully offline. The app itself was fully offline. But at the same time, if people were able to save that information or had something like nefarious to do with it, that's really not good. And we even see some things over here like Video Game Chronicles showing, you know, the GameStop websites reportedly showing customer data, including addresses too. And this is just the huge, huge warning from other folks refreshing their accounts. Kind of cover what we kind of already mentioned over here. It shows like the retailer GameStop has reportedly leaked customer information, including billing addresses and payment history, according to multiple users on social media. For a period of time on Saturday, customers were being shown other users' information while refreshing their orders. So thankfully, it did not, I don't believe, did show the full credit card numbers too, but they do have partial numbers, and sometimes it's all you need for a website. Let's say there's like an autosave. Sometimes autosaves are just saying put your last four digits your name, your address, etc. So like that is still a pretty big security concern. Some also Reddit users were also kind of con like this was like everywhere, not just on Twitter, but they even had people on Reddit saying every time I refresh this website, I can see someone else's name, phone number, address, order history. It's like a cycle then of like four or five different people wrote one Reddit user. This is very worrisome. Can't even then also change your password on the account itself because of this glitch when it happened earlier on, other folks are saying, oh God, I tried it and it's doing it for me too. So like I keep saying, this was like a big widespread issue. Added another user, addresses, birthdays, emails, etc. This is really bad. And as you guys know, some people use things like their birthdays or use their things from emails or they just don't want their information outline online. I do not want my information online. What if you saw like a YouTuber? And they thought, you know, I'm sure YouTuber, gaming YouTubers, etc. I myself have bought stuff out there. Now, obviously, at the same time, it's whatever. I have proper you know, protection, stuff like that. But that doesn't make this situation any less worse from GameStop. This is awful to go and see. They also have the digital currency codes, too, as it sends the verification code to your own email. My friend was able to get a full uh, credit card number by clicking on a card. But then the site was reloading after that. Some folks are saying they were able to cycle through multiple different accounts. The website was tripping out and it kept hopping between a couple different dozen different profiles and the name of the top of the screen kept on changing items in the cards pro rewards were being changed too as well. They thought it was being you know actually hat and overall this is probably one of the worst things we've seen in the gaming scene and retail scene in quite some time. 
So if you guys do have your money or credit card stuff on GameStop, please be careful. I'm not sure the best next course of action because we're not sure what exactly was able to be processed. Just be careful. Check your bank. Check your credit card these next few days, especially, and check your GameStop orders. But this is really bad. If you guys want to, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or $500 cash giveaway. Twitter and Twitch stream down below in case you guys want to follow. We have the Amazon links. We have the Target links, too, and all the Black Friday sales. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place.